several years ago, several years ago, I, I got a bad report. Got a bad report and uh, from, uh, from the doctor. <laughs> yeah, now nobody likes to get bad reports from the doctor. And uh, uh, when I got the bad report, you know, um, you know I, I know how to fight the fight of faith. I know how to fight the fight of faith. I know how to fight the fight of faith. So, uh, so, um, but you know, sometimes you just don't want to go through some things. Yeah, I know he's my healer. I know all the confessions, but some valleys you just rather not go through. So I'm, I'm, I'm talking to God in one of my worship times. And I say, God, <laughs> I go through this if I have to. But I really got too much on my plate to be distracted right now with trying to overcome some sickness and disease. I got too much going on right now. And then I heard the devil interrupted. And he said, why did God let this happen to you? I said, oh, no devil. See, that wasn't the voice of God. That was the voice of the accuser. Trying to change my attitude toward God. I said, oh, no, no, no. I'm not going to have an attitude against God. I love him even more. Because the way to keep fear out your life is to fill yourself with his love. And in that split second, that split moment, I had a psalmist experience. I heard a song down in, her, in my heart. And you know when David built a temple in Zion, he had recorders there. So they could write down when the voice of God spoke because God is not obligated to repeat himself. So in my worship moments, I always carry me a pen. So when he speaks to me, I'm able to write it down. And so here's the song that I heard down in my heart that day. Hallelujah. How many know God is able tonight? I said, how many know that God is able tonight? Can you just lift your hands and sing with me? God is able to do just what he said he would do. He's gonna fulfill every promise to you. Don't give up on God. 